Okay. So during our course, we've been working with different data sets and different uh, types of data frames. Sometimes we might want to convert to from one data frame to another kind of data frame. For instance, we might want to combine convert to a CSV file, to an Excel file, or even an uh, a text file. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So we're we'll using our last example and moving on from there. So I'll just go down here and create a new cell at the bottom. Now to do that, it has some functions. Let's say we want to convert to a uh, CSV file. So I'm just going to create an object called new and I'll use the uh, df dot to underscore CSV, CSV, and then we'll pass in the name. I'll just call that combined dot CSV All right now. So I'll just go ahead and run that cell. So if we go ahead to the directory where you created the uh, your uh, file, this is Jupyter Notebook file. I have mine in my local drive. So if I just go there, I'm going to see a document called combined. And if I just open that up, which is a comma separated value file. And we can see we actually have that file created right here. And we also notice it has uh, the index. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and close it, not save anything. And let's just get back to our uh, CSV file. So we can actually create an Excel file. Uh, let's say converting. One Excel file, one Excel document. So we'll just call that new underscore Excel. It's going to be a DF dot two underscore Excel. And then we'll pass in the name. So let's say combined dot X L S X. So if we go ahead and run that also, let's go ahead and look at our document. And we actually have one called combined. This is actually the uh, Excel file. Let's go ahead and look at the properties. So this is the uh, XLSX uh, worksheet, and which is actually an Excel file. So this is the CSV file, and that's the Excel file. So which is great. So we can also combine convert this into a uh, txt file and if we want to get rid of the index we could just pass an argument for the index and we'll set that to false so this is not going to create uh, those indexes so to a uh, text file convert to a text file or just a new underscore txt uh, we're going to use the same uh, CSV argument, but we'll pass in the extension with TXT. So we're going to say df dot to underscore CSV. And then this is going to be a combined dot TXT. And we can set the index to be equal to false. And we can also add a separator. And we can use anything for our separator. I'll just use a slash T, which is going to be a tab or empty space. You can basically do anything like an asterisk, but I'll just use slash T or just slash if we want. So let's go ahead and save this and let's run this. So let's go ahead and check it out in our location. So I'll just open up the TXT file and you can see I actually have a TXT file that is tab separated. If I didn't want the tab separation, I could just do like this. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Slash T. Actually, that, that is uh, actually an error. I can't use a uh, backspace for the separator. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can use asterisk for our separator. All right, great. So let's go ahead and look at our file. And just open this and you can see we have asterisk as the uh, separator like that. So we have asterisk, 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 which is not really uh, <laughs> nice to look at. But then again, we could just uh, do it that way. So that's how you can come uh, create new versions of our uh, CSV files. We can create an Excel file, a TXT file, 
or a CSV file using these uh, file extensions. We could even do more. We could do combinations to a uh, to a uh, to an SQL file or JSON file. These are our file extensions, and we'll be looking at that also in future lessons. Once again, thank you very much for watching.